Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Original air dates June 8th, 1958, and the title is Big Business. Let's get into it, and again, thanks for listening. Slaughter's my name. Luke Slaughter. Cattle's my business. It's a tough business. It's big business. I've got a big stake in it. And there's no man west of the Rio Grande big enough to take it from me. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Slaughter of Tombstone, Civil War cavalryman turned Arizona cattleman. Across the territory, from Yuma to Fort Defiance, from Flagstaff to the Huachucas, and below the border through Chihuahua and Sonora, his name was respected or feared, depending on which side of the law you were on. Man of vision, man of legend, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. <laughs> and I started out for Fort Huachuca too early but an Apache runner had come to my ranch in the night with news I didn't like and I had to see Colonel Nickerson right away hey, listen to that Luke them soldiers still wrestling their blankets and here you've had me up for three hours already <laughs> well now that's too bad Wichita if anyone was to ask me I'd say the life of an army man would be a gold braided snap compared to traveling with Luke Slaughter. <laughs> now, did I ask you to come out here this morning, Wichita? Well... Oh, now, did I? Well, I thought you did. Well, think again. Well, might be Colonel Nicholson will throw you into the guardhouse for waking him. You hope. Here's his quarters. Oh, hold oh, up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You wait here, Wichita. Well, if you're in there too long, I might join up with this outfit for a rest. Suit yourself. Good morning, Corporal. Oh, uh, good morning, sir. Luke Slaughter to see Colonel Nickerson. Uh, yes, sir. Have a seat, Mr. Slaughter. Now, now, I guess you're new here, son. I'll see him now. Uh, but, sir, he, he's still in bed. Well, then it was time he was up. But, sir... Uh, who is it? It's me, Nick. Luke Slaughter. Come on, now. Get up. I want to talk to you. Uh, Luke Slaughter. You hidebound cattle rustler. What are you doing up this early? This isn't the siege of Vicksburg, you know. Well, yeah, new peacetime soldiers take it too easy. I tried to stop him, sir. Oh, it's all right, Corporal. He's an old campaigning sidekick of mine. I think I can handle him. Hey, yes, sir. Yeah. What's got you up so early in the morning, Luke? Nick, I got a message from Chief Mangus last night. He says his braves are going to hit the warpath over the government beef cutbacks. I didn't know it was that serious. What are you going to do about it, Nick? Me? What can I do about it, Luke? I'm army. I take orders. Well, there's something I can do, if you'll help me. What is it? Get permission for me to go make a treaty with Chief Mangus. You mean wire Washington? That's right. Uh, I don't know, Luke. The War Department doesn't take kindly to field officers making recommendations on policy. I know, Nick. But something's got to be done, and fast. What uh, kind of a treaty do you have in mind? Chief Mangus has something the Cattlemen's Association wants, and we have what he wants. What's that, Luke? We'll give his people beef and money in return for the use of their grazing land. Well, they already have that deal. What do you mean? You're head of the Cattlemen's Association, and you don't know that T.J. Campbell's running a herd on the San Carlos Reserve right now? No, I didn't. Well, he is. Two thousand head. But the Association hasn't made any agreement with the Apaches. I don't know about that, but according to Campbell, he's got an agreement with an Apache named Lona. Lona. I know him. He can't make treaties. Only Chief Mangus speaks for the Apaches. This whole thing's illegal. Of course it's illegal. That's why I'm sending a detail up to the San Carlos today to run the cattle off. You'd better hurry. If Mangus hears about this, he's sure to hit the warpath. Who's in charge of your detail? 
Uh, Lieutenant Baker, why? Mind if I go with him? What for? Before I deal with Mangus, I'd like to set this loner straight. Uh, Luke, I don't like this. Why not? Because you're mixing in something that's Apache against Apache. You might set off a full-fledged Indian war. Nick, that'd be better than what Mangus wants. What's that? Apache against white man. I'll go with Baker. Uh, Luke. Yenick. Make it unofficial, will you? <laughs> yes, Colonel. Which non I'll just happen to run into the lieutenant and his men. Good. Oh, and, uh, Nick, you can do something for me. What's that? Send that wire to Washington. It'd be nice to have their blessings on a treaty with Mangus. <laughs> Stubborn cuss, you're going ahead anyway, aren't you? Sure. What did you expect? For you to go ahead. <laughs> Good luck. Lieutenant Baker turned out to be a fuzzy-chinned young fellow with all the deceptive confidence manufactured by the United States Military Academy at West Point. Apache country was no place for him. I found myself wanting to turn him back. Sonny boy, was you aiming to butcher these cattle with them swords? Or just turn them around and drive them back onto Campbell's Range? What do you mean, old-timer? Don't you old-timer me, you pipes! Damn young whippersnapper. Wichita. <laughs> uh, he don't need to talk I didn't mean anything by it, old man. But there he goes again, Luke. Now, I ain't taking this kind of talk. I... Honest, Mr. Slaughter, I don't know how to talk to these old Luke, fruits. Luke, sure, help me. <laughs> I mean, I... I uh... Now, now, listen, sonny boy. You better start fanning your men out to point that herd. All right, Wichita. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, somebody's got to keep this army in line. So you appointed yourself. Well, ain't nobody else to do it. <laughs> Help! Help! Uh, now what's he doing? All right, men. Here are your orders. Here are your orders. Sergeant Thomas. Oh. Take five men to the left flank. Sergeant Smith. You. Five to the right. Point that herd into the canyon. Here's Rest your orders. Darn, young. Luke, why don't he just say wrestle them in, boys, like if any, any decent cowpokes? give you trouble, shoot them and argue later. All right, move up! Uh, sure. Tom? Yeah? Now that I've actually seen Campbell's herd on Indian land, I want you to go back to Tombstone. Hmm. What for? I want you to call a meeting of the Cattlemen's Association for this afternoon. And I especially want T.J. Campbell there. All right. But uh, what you gonna do? Find Lona. Now, get going. I'm on my way. Come on, horse, get. I rode into the rock-strewn foothills of the San Carlos Reserve. I dismounted and studied the cliffs above me for the logical place to watch the action below. I knew that when I found it, I'd find Lona. I decided to take the long chance and approach him unarmed. So I left my guns in my saddlebag and started climbing quietly towards the craggy site. He was lying face down on the edge of the cliff, watching Baker's men work the cattle below. Lona! I am Okata. No, put the knife down. I didn't come to fight you. I'm unarmed. Lona, not put knife down. Lona kill Slaughter. I'm friend of the Indians. Slaughter come with soldiers. Soldiers steal cattle. Lona watch them. No, they're not stealing them, Lona. Those cattle are not allowed to graze on the reserve. Lona let them. Lona make rules here. Mangus is the chief. He makes the rules for the Apache tribe. Mangus? <laughs> Mangus old man. Mangus brain like little child. Make bad treaty for Apache. Lona make good treaty with Mr. Campbell. Lona soon be chief. Campbell cannot make a treaty with you. Only the Cattlemen's Association can make a treaty. Lona tired of talk. Lona kill slaughter. Cut you up good with knife. You missed, Lona. Don't try it again. Your tribe wouldn't think much of you for killing an unarmed man. Lona, tell it different. Lona kills slaughter. 
doctor. No. No. Take that knife. The knife. Drop it. Drop it, I said. All right. Stand up. You... You kill Lona now? No. Just warning you. Stay away from Campbell. Neither of you has a right to make treaties. You understand? Lona, here, Slaughter. See that you remember it. Lona, get you. Lona, get you good, strong men, Slaughter. <laughs> In a moment, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone returns. What lies ahead for a brand new American? How does the future look for the 11,000 new Americans born every day? Well, it couldn't look better with more factories producing more goods for our mushrooming population. America is going places. Send for a free illustrated booklet, Your Great Future in a Growing America. Drop a card to Box 1776, Grand Central Station, New York, 17, New York. And now, Act Two of William N. Robeson's production of Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. I see you found everybody, what you tell Yeah, Luke, all of them, but I've been having a hard time holding them. Campbell? Yeah? I see you made it all right. For sure, Slaughter. Why are you singling me out? You'll find out. Gentlemen, I'm calling this meeting of the Cattlemen's Association of Arizona for one purpose. The expulsion of T.J. Campbell from the association for breaking our what? agreement with the federal government not to run what? cattle on the San Carlos what are you Reserve. Talking about? I'm not finished. Also, because T.J. Campbell is guilty of making a private arrangement for his own personal gain. Well, wait up now. Sure, I made a deal, but it was it, it was fair and square. Gentlemen, this was done at the worst possible time. You all know that the government has just cut back the beef allotment to the Apaches. But you may not know that because of this, Chief Mangus has sent word to me that they're about to take to the warpath. Well, I didn't know nothing about that, Slaughter. Therefore, I move that T.J. Campbell be expelled from this association. I second the motion, Luke. All right. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Oh, well, just a minute now, Slaughter. All those in favor. Aye! So be it. All right, Campbell. You can leave now. This is a closed meeting. Well, I ain't leaving. Aren't you? Uh. <laughs> you want me to follow him, Luke? No, Wichita. Gentlemen, I'm sure you realize that we must act as an organized group in this matter, not as individuals. We need the Apaches grazing land, but we must be prepared to pay for it. Good. Wichita and I will go out to the reserve and try to contact Chief Mangus, providing you men agree to honor whatever arrangements I make. Then the meeting's adjourned. Now, well, Wichita, are you ready to travel? Sure, oh, sure, Luke. I gave up sleeping the day I hired on with you. Lead me to my horse. Looks like them Apaches has got a reception committee all set up for us. Yeah. You no, know, I learned one thing a long time ago, Luke. What's that, Wichita? There just ain't no good way of creeping up on an Indian village. How's that? Well, figure it out. 
come at the village from upwind, the dogs tip them off. Come from downwind, your courage goes back on you, and you go home smelling like you've been sleeping with a coyote. <laughs> Nothing is simple for you, is it, Wichita? No. Yeah, stop here. Chief Mangus is riding towards us. White man brave to come to Apache village. Great Chief Mangus fails to use the name of his friend, Slaughter. I come to talk to the chief of the Apaches. Time for talk is past. Time now for death. I cannot promise to stop my braves whose children have swollen bellies of hunger. I come from the great association of cattlemen. We offer you beef for your hungry children in return for the right to graze our cattle on your lands. No. We are sick with promises. Is not white father in Washington bigger than your association? Our white father is too far away. The people I come from are here. They wish to help. My braves have demanded war. They will take more of your cattle than you will give. You do, and the army from Fort Huachuca will sweep through your villages. Pony soldiers must find village first. And Mangus prefers to let sick women and children of his nation run from soldiers. Come on, Wichita. Slaughter! What is it? You are right. I am old. I will listen to one more promise. Wars bring only sadness. Come. One more promise. Gatuma Costa! We powwowed for hours. First Mangus and I, then Mangus and his braves. Finally, long after dark, the chief rose and spoke to me. I have told my braves, Slaughter, as you have told me. Your cattle may graves from the San Simon Valley to the Huachuca Mountains. You will pay Apache Nation two cents an acre, one half in yearling cows. You may build fences, but must leave them when treaty end. Treaty lasts for ten years. Chief Mangus be dead soon. Bring peace and food to people first. The name of Chief Mangus will be honored many years. Lauder, shake hand. Make treaty come true. Great Chief Mangus must not shake hand of slaughter. Lona. Lona go away from tribe for a long time. Lona come back with treaty for Apache Nation. Better than promises of this man. No, Chief Mangus. Lona wishes to take your place. What is this treaty Lona brings? Man called Campbell. We'll give $50,000 to Apache for Grazeland. Campbell lies, Chief Mangus. The whole association of cattlemen would not offer that much money. It wouldn't pay. How do I know who to believe? If I prove Campbell lies, will you then shake hands on the treaty I offered you? I cannot stay the anger of my braves for long. Morning's first light must bring peace or war. Then I'll be back before sunrise. Yeah, that's right, boys. Drinks on T.J. Campbell tonight. Now, your glass is all full. All right, then, boys, raise them high. We're drinking a toast to Tombstone. Greatest town west of Mississippi. Raise him high, boy, like he. Who done that? Campbell. Who? Oh. Why, Luke. That wasn't a nice thing to do. Shoot the glass out of a man's hand. Feeling good tonight, aren't you? What do you mean by that? What are you celebrating? Nothing. <laughs> Just buying the boys a drink. That can wait, Campbell. Huh? 
You're coming with me. With you? Where are we going? To the Apaches. They're waiting for you. Oh, oh. Hey, Luke, come on. Have a drink. <laughs> Tell the boys you're just joking. I'm not. Get outside and get on that horse. Boys. Boys, you, you gonna let Slaughter get away with this? Are you? All right, Campbell. You had your answer. Move. Slaughter, no. Slaughter, you can't do this. Just keep going, Campbell. Hey, them engines want to talk to you, Campbell, about that $50,000 you offered them. That's right. Seems that Lona told them you'd have the money with you this morning. That's a lie. I never told him such a thing. Well, they're expecting the money today, oh. Campbell. I ain't going in there. Slaughter. Them Apaches is in a killing mood when they're dancing like that. Why should you be afraid? You've got a big treaty for them. I tell you, Slaughter, I ain't going near them engines. I... The next one goes through your head, Campbell. Now move. Come on. Get off your horse, Campbell. Yeah. Is this the man called Campbell? He talking to me, Slaughter. I'd say he was, Campbell. Did you bring money for the treaty? Slaughter, you know I haven't got that kind of money. It's out of my hands, Campbell. Then you cannot make treaty now? It was all a lie. Yeah, yeah, it was a lie. Chief Mangus, will you now shake hands on our treaty? I believe my friend, Luke Slaughter. I will trust your word. The treaty is as we said. But there must be no revenge on Campbell. We'll take care of him. The word of a brave man is accepted. I shake your hand. Well, look there, Luke. Colonel Nickerson's horse outside the association office. Yeah. What are you aiming to do with me? I've done it, Campbell. You're out of the association every cattleman in the territory will know what kind of an operator you are. Oh, oh. Slaughter. Slaughter, that's just the same as putting me out of business. It's a little late to worry about that, Campbell. Come on, Wichita. Let's see what's on the colonel's mind. Hiya, Nick. Morning, Luke. I just dropped in to tell you I got word from Washington. They say it's all right for you to make whatever arrangements you can with Chief Mangus. Well, we just come to... Uh, Wichita. Uh, thanks, Nick. Uh, that's good to know. I'll have to get started on that one of these days. Yeah, you do that, Luke. If you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Slaughter of Tombstone, starring Sam Buffington, was written by Tom Hanley and directed by William N. Robeson. Supporting Mr. Buffington were Junius Matthews, Jack Moyles, Sam Edwards, Vic Perrin, Lawrence Dobkin, Ralph Moody, and Norm Alden, with music composed and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. <laughs> Next week at this time, we return with... Slaughter's the name. Luke Slaughter. When we meet up again, you can call me that. Luke Slaughter.
This is the CBS Radio Network. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day and thanks for listening.